for it, for it, for it, for it. This my city, my city, yeah, yeah. For it, for it, for it, for it, for it. This my city. Hey guys, and welcome back to Style by Viva 101. Today's video is going to be this beautiful flirty pink look featuring some of my favorite Maybelline products. So if you're interested, then continue watching. All right, so the first thing we're going to start off with is the eyes, and I'm using the Maybelline City Minute Mini Palette. Sorry, this is in the shade 510 Blushed Avenue. It's a bunch of blush tones, pink and purple with very nice under pink undertones. So I'm going into this mauve shade here, and I'm going to use a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to apply that to my crease as my transition color. Next, I'm going in with this plum purple. It's such a beautiful shade. Um, it has a red undertone, and I'm going to use a, um, what do you call this? Like a fluffy angled brush, and I'm going to apply this to the outer part of my V and a little bit in my crease, and also along my lash line closer to my outer V to give it more depth and some smokiness. Next, I'm going in with this shimmery pink shade. It has a peachy undertone, and I'm going to use my finger. You can use a flat shader brush and setting spray, but I'm using my finger. I'm applying it to the rest of my eyelid and blending it with that um, plum purple shade. And now I'm going back in with that mauve shade with that same fluffy brush, and I'm blending that out on the lower lash line. Next, I'm going with my favorite mascara from Maybelline. This is their Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. This is in the shade Black or Blackest Black. And I love how the wand is curved and it really gives you that full effect on the eyes. Eyelashes, sorry. So now for foundation, I'm going in with the Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 340 Cappuccino. I really love this foundation. It gives me such a flawless look. It lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't budge. Um, and the only issue that I have is that for some reason 340 Cappuccino in this foundation is super orange on me until I blend it out with my concealer and powder and everything versus Fit Me. My 340 Cappuccino matches perfectly. I don't know. Anyways, I'm using a wet sponge to blend that into the skin. So now I'm going in with such a cult favorite. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eraser for Dark Circles. I'm using the shade Golden on majority of my face and the inner and outer corners of my eyes. And then I'm going with the shade Caramel, which is a little bit lighter. And I'm going to pop that right in the center of my eyes to give it a brightening effect and also the lifting effect so that I can hide my dark circles and look nice and awake. And I'm going back in with that same wet sponge. That sponge is actually from e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm going to use that same wet sponge and I'm going to use the pointed section of it and blending out all the concealer. You can already see that the concealer is helping with neutralizing my foundation and it's not as orange anymore. So now I'm going to set um, the rest of my face minus the concealer areas. I used to have a powder that matched my concealer areas, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder, the Matte Plus Colorless version, and I'm using 355 Coconut and setting the rest of my face. I love this pressed powder. I always try to make sure I'm stocked up on it. In fact, I'm going to Shoppers Drug Mart tomorrow after this video is posted so that I can pick up another one because it's just really good. The Matte Plus Poreless works so well with so many foundations. And, and as you can see, it neutralized um, my foundation. It blends in perfectly now. All right, so I went and set my face, and now I'm going back into that City Minis palette, and I'm using that mauve shade as blush, and I'm just applying that to the high points of my cheek area. Less on my actual cheek, I should say, more on my cheek bones. I've been trying to switch it up. 
little bit, see how I like it. I also add a little bit on my nose because I really like how that looks. Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold, another cult favorite. Absolutely love this. I forgot how much I love it. When I put it on, I was like, yeah, this is definitely going in my everyday um, makeup pile because it's really, really good. I'm just applying that to the highest points of my cheeks and my nose and a little bit on my top lip as well. And last but not least, after I line my lips with a brown lip liner, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade 10 Dreamer. It's like a powder pink. It's super cute. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, and Happy New Year.